What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the importance of a routine. A routine while we're in quarantine. I didn't do that on purpose, it just rhymed, right? <laughs> but it's, it's a really, I wanna share with you guys how I chunk my day. And chunking is an actual concept, right? Of how to, uh, well, chunk your day into, into different, um, different things, different categories, right? So I wanna explain to you guys one thing. I've been in quarantine before. And by quarantine, I mean jail. So I've been to jail for about a year and a half. Uh, this was about maybe 10 years ago, 10 plus years ago. So, you know, it's it's all in the past now. But one thing I want to share share that with you guys because I've, I've been there before where you're locked in and you know, you had nothing to do. And one thing that keeps you sane, right, is exercise. Now, exercise is really, it's, it's of course besides the the uh, the physical benefits right but there's also mental benefits so of course you'll be healthier you know you have a better immune system and it releases endorphins so that's part of the psychological thing but it really does keep you sane okay because it makes you you know it makes you feel better okay and so that's the most important thing in when you're inside is really to and, and quarantine would be somewhat similar but not even that bad when you really think about it because you know you you're still at you're at home you know so you have the comforts of you know modern living you know you bed uh, you know you have you could cook you could you know you have access to food I mean you just have to go out and uh, buy food and, and and so on okay you have your phone you have the internet you have TV you have like you know inter like all of that so I mean you're not it's it's really not that bad you know so you just have to find yourself a routine to keep you sane and to keep you moving forward so I'm gonna talk to you guys about chunking how I chunk my day so the first thing when you get up when I get up I chunk my day the first thing is I take care of my health okay so I have my coffee whatever then after, after that I exercise so exercising I could I put it in two categories okay so you could either do cardio or you could do resistance training okay um, I don't really like doing both at the same time I prefer but now since like I don't really I don't always want to go out and run okay so for the most part I do my resistance training in the morning and after that I would do my cardio at night okay so I take care of my health first after that right what I do is that I take care of um, all the maintenance and the chores and all the the uh, the stuff that I had to do for work you know so even though I'm a trainer and right now there's no gym, but I still have to make programs and videos and all that stuff for, for my clients, right? To keep them, uh, keep them alive, keep them going, keep them, you know, because a lot of people actually don't know how to work out uh, at home without any equipment. Now, some people might have a little bit of equipment. Some people might be willing to go buy some, but maybe, maybe sometimes not. So, and, and I was in jail, so I, <laughs> you, you could get in really good shape just doing like, uh, uh, calisthenics body weight stuff you know if you know what you're doing right and I didn't even know what I was I didn't even know that much before like when I was inside because I was a trainer at that point obviously because you know I was inside um, but yeah I got I was in pretty good shape man you know not not like this not now I'm at another level but uh, yeah those you can get pretty pretty solid man you know because that's all you do you have a set routine you work out you eat three square meals a day uh, or four whatever and uh, you're in really good shape so Okay, I kind of lost myself there. But the first thing I take care of is my health, right? After that, I take care of the maintenance work. So yeah, that's that's where I was at. Taking care of, uh, you know, administer, administrative work, you know, chores, maintenance stuff, uh, uh, you know, about your, regarding your life, you know, like paying bills, you know, making that phone call you need to make, uh, that you need to make, um, you know, like, calling customers, doing this, doing that, whatever it is. So you have to have a couple of hours where you do uh, you do maintenance. Now, you, and then once, I, once the maintenance is done, right? So let's say you do about uh, two hours of maintenance. Well, after that, there's about six hours where I, I feel you have to work on progressing, right? So that means you have to learn, okay, through reading or videos or whatever so that you can like yeah, and plan out your life and, and, and you know, like uh, your next week or month or whatever so that you could keep moving forward, right? And after that, you do a couple of hours of that. So let's say it takes you about um, 
okay, let's say you wake up, it takes you about an hour to wake up, so you gotta drink coffee and, and, and stuff, and then you gotta eat a bit, and after that, okay, so you, or, or maybe you don't eat, and then you exercise first, whatever. So you wake up, you take about an hour, so you're doing your thing, you're meditating, you're having coffee, then you gotta work out. So once you work out, let's say you work out for about 45, no, 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, boom, done. After that, let's say you take your shower, boom, then you go into maintenance and chore, chore mode, right? So you're taking care of all the administrative work, the maintenance work, the this, the that, the calls that you have to make, uh, you know, for your work and all that. And then you're good. So then that takes about maybe two hours. And then for the next, let's say, uh, you know, anywhere between four to six hours, it's approximate guys, you know? So you, you do about, I don't know, four to six hours of um, progressive work, right? stuff that's gonna improve your life. So, you, you know, you learn uh, you learn something. So either you do that by reading or taking courses or watching videos and you can do everything online now. So you see, it's not really that bad. Like in jail, like you just have to wait until somebody brings you books if you have somebody to bring you books or you just borrow a book and, and sometimes the books are uh, like the books in the jail I was, it, yeah, whatever, the, it was crappy. So I had to wait until my, my, my family brought me books. And yeah, so that that's it, right? So you do that, and after that, guess what? At the end of the day, you have to do something for leisure, okay? For socializing, so because you know we're, we're humans and we're very social animals and stuff like that. So you don't want to be left alone, you know, and, and in your own little corner. Hey, reach out to your friends, uh, maybe friends that you haven't reached out into a long time. Reach out to, you know, family that you haven't talked to in a while. You know, I think this is the time. I mean, like usually we're so busy going about our lives that, you know, like we we tend to forget these people. And, you know, so I think this when because of what we're going through now, you kind of realize what's important in life. Right. And, and, and reaching out to people like if you're if you're lonely or whatever, or, you know, you're going through some kind of hard times and stuff like that. And this on top of it makes it even worse. Well, if you reach out to people and you talk, you, you'll see that people are going through their own stuff too, so you, you won't feel as bad, and you can, you can help each other out, give each other advice and whatnot, right? And then from there, so you do that for a little bit, and then I like at the end to do some kind of exercise at the end of the day, but that's just me. You're like You don't need to exercise. Uh, you can finish off your day right there with the socializing, the leisure, you know? Uh, and you don't, it doesn't have to be socializing necessarily. Maybe if you don't feel like socializing, but you wanna watch something on Netflix with uh, your kids and all that, or your, your spouse or whatnot, then yeah, you can do that too, right? You can end it there. Sometimes though, sometimes I wanna keep going. So what I do is then I go do some cardio. <laughs> so that's what I do. I do cardio at night now. Uh, I go outside, I run, I run with my dog. He, he, he likes it, of course, you know? And uh, that's how I go about my day, right? So just to reiterate, okay, I start my day with taking care of my health, right? So whether I do, and here's the thing, let me, let me just go back for a second. On Sundays, I'll do resistance training. Like, let's say I don't work out twice a day. I don't do my resistance training in the morning and then my cardio at night, or the opposite, right? Then I'll just do my resistance training one day, and then after that, the next day, I might just do more cardio focus workouts at home and all that. And and yeah, so you could alternate like that too, okay? As long as you're doing something, trust me, the exercise, man, it's gonna keep you sane, you know? And if you don't, man, you're gonna be, you know, like, okay, this quarantine thing, I mean, they're saying right now they're like two weeks, right? At first it was like, yeah, two weeks, but now it's two weeks minimum. But I honestly think quarantine is gonna be something to the effects of like um, two months, man. Two months. Yeah, probably, minimum, you know? Uh, so, something like that, who knows, maybe even longer. And like, I'm not worried, I'm not stressed, I'm doing my thing. And uh, I've been there before, uh, in much worse conditions with a, a much worse mindset, I, I, you know? Like I was younger then and I wasn't, uh, I didn't, ha I didn't know what I know now. I didn't, you know, I wasn't, not that I'm smart now, but smarter. Okay, so trust me, it helps, man. You gotta exercise, you gotta do something every day, every day, like, so you make it a routine, right? I do you exercise in the morning. I love to do it in the morning. Everybody's different. Some people get, get like, uh, um, uh, some people are stronger in the morning after they exercise, and some people are weaker. And then some people, they're actually stronger uh, when you exercise at night, right? 
So everybody's different, but generally speaking, in the morning or in the early afternoon, it's good. So I take care of my health first. That's the first thing. Then after that, I take care of the maintenance and the chores and all that. All the little stuff, the phone calls, the emails, all that. All the stuff that I have to catch up on. And now's the best time to really catch up and get super organized. And after that, you do a couple of hours of that. Then you get into your learning mode, right? So then you learn something, you read something, you watch a bunch of videos. And after that, you do a couple of hours of that. Give yourself some time to socialize at the end of the day. So, you know, socialize or leisure. So what I mean by that, uh, well, I already mentioned it, but, you know, you could either play video games or just, you know, whatever or watch a movie or you could like reach out to people talk you know and 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 you know see what's up right connect with friends and family you know it's it's the best time right now you can do everything by phone so i mean i can even do that in jail you know like you want to reach out you know who you're gonna reach out to like you, you know you have to wait until uh they they they, they uh, lockdown is over right so they open up the cells you come out and you gotta write your name on a little board and you gotta wait until your turn you got like 15 minutes on the phone and it's called collect so like you can't be calling on cell phones. You gotta be calling at people's homes, and uh, yeah, so it's it was really complicated. You can just you know, so you would socialize with a bunch of other guys who are in the same situation as you, and um, well, you're in jail, so everybody's a criminal. <laughs> Some cool guys there, but hey, you know, it is what it is. It was what it was, um, and then after that, at night, and of course after that, if you want to kill it, right, and you wanna, and why not, go do some cardio or. Do some more exercise, you know? If you did already cardio in the morning, do your resistance at night. If you're doing resistance in the morning, do a little bit of cardio at night, then stretch out, whatnot, take a bath. <claps> Boom, you're done, you're good. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, leave your comments below what you think, um, if you have any questions, and uh, on the net or any videos you want me to make specifically. I'm gonna make some more videos every day. Uh, I know I said that last time, and it's been like two days now, but mm, things a little bit, been a little, a little bit crazy in my mind but I cleared that shit up quick you know yeah so <laughs> but I'm thinking of making videos now because somebody mentioned in my YouTube channel that they wanted to uh, like I should make shit on on how I eat and stuff like that because uh, for those of you well if you guys follow me for a while now um, well, I'm pretty ripped I'm like at 8% body fat right now and uh, at one point I said in the video I was gonna go down to like 5% but that's just retarded because you know what 5% is like being on stage uh, on a bodybuilding show, right? Where you're, where you're fucking, oh, sorry, I shouldn't curse. You're friggin' shredded, shredded like, ah, you know, it's like you got certain rap and you can see everything. I, I'm at 8%, man, I got, you know. So anyways, all that to say that <laughs> I would, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make some videos on how, on nutrition and how I eat and how I go about my stuff. And nutrition is key when you wanna lose weight. It's key. And I'll talk to you guys uh, about that in in um, uh, in another video. And it, it has like I used to just impose the way I eat on, on my clients before, right? I would tell them, "Dude, just eat da 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 this da 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 da." And I was eating like super healthy. I don't, I don't even really care about taste, you know. I I appreciate uh, you know food that tastes good and all that, but it's really not important to me, man. I'll just eat so I don't die, you know, so I'm not hungry. It's like I had this mentality where. Uh, like, I, I just eat for performance and function and stuff like that, you know? And once in a while, yeah, I have a good meal with friends, whatever. But it's, it's not it's not a priority in my life at all. I'm, I'm like zero, zero foodie type. <laughs> I'm not a foodie. Like, uh, I like food and I'll eat it, but, you know, ah, whatever, man. I got, I, got, I got stuff to do, man. Like, you know, live long and healthy. I'm 41, so, yeah. Look, it's pretty damn good. Okay. So uh, leave your like, comments, subscribe, I mean comments below, like and subscribe to the video, share the video, click on the notification bell, and uh, I'll make some videos on nutrition soon, um, you know, on like some basics that you guys really, uh, fundamentals that you have to respect, um, and of course on, um, and, you know, it, when it comes to diet, it, it really, it comes down to calories in and calories out. So it, it really doesn't mean you have to give up um, what you want to eat, right? Like the way I eat is extreme, but I'll explain that in another video. So what was I going with this again? Yeah, so click on the notification bell and uh, that way you notify when I make another video. And I'll, I'll talk more on, on nutrition next time. And I'll probably do, probably later on tonight, I'll do some like a, a, another body weight video. And I realized that, you know, on social media, there's a lot of guys showing, um, you know, fitness guys, trainers and stuff like that, showing uh, body weight exercises. 
and uh, they're, they're all like really cool. But I realized that a lot of the stuff they're showing sometimes it's a little bit too advanced, you know. So I'm gonna keep this stuff basic, right? And that way everybody could do it, not just people who are advanced. And then if I, yeah, and then from there, well, I think it's a better approach because you don't need to get fancy really to get in shape. Okay, well, I could show you some basic stuff you do, and then you just have to play around with the timing and the and like uh, uh, the 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 rest intervals and all that, and then you just gotta touch on the whole body and whatnot, and, and you're good, you're really good, you know. And then after that, it's all about how you eat, how you sleep, and all that. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll make videos on that, touch on it, but you really don't need to get fancy. Like I'm the least fancy person in the world when it comes to training. All of my clients, all you guys who are watching this right now, you guys know I'm simple as and um and i could do the complicated stuff i can't like i mean i do judo i you know I throw people around and i do all kinds of craziness and you know grappling and all that and and i'm like a lifelong martial artist slash athlete you know and at 41 i'm still good i got a lot of injuries and stuff like that so you know but uh, i'm dealing pretty well with them i'm learning how blah 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 so that's it for this one guys so i hope you guys have a nice day i hope this was somewhat helpful right in terms of how i how i think that people should structure your day their day and that's how i do it at least i'm not always perfect mind you but this is what i'm working towards and i think that in this time of you know quarantine and all that then i think this is gonna help definitely but listen exercise has to be the main thing oh oh okay I just wanted to mention something else. Like I used to smoke, right, back in the day. So I smoked for about 10 years. And then uh, sometimes I would social smoke and all that. And sometimes in certain periods when I was stressed out, I was going through uh, some issues, I would smoke a little bit more. And after that, I switched to vaping and stuff like that. Okay, well, here's the thing. I'm cutting all that shit out now. Like I'm still, if you're, if you're smoking or vaping or whatever, okay, you should cut that shit out. You know, I'm, ideally stopping would be the best thing. But if you can't stop, you, should, you try to cut down because <laughs> you are like the thing is you have to be aware of the COVID, uh, the coronavirus. Actually, like it it, 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 it takes out people who have like respiratory problems. So if your cardio is crap, like ee, you you might be at higher risk, right? And also, cardio is the most important thing. You don't need to be super strong, even though you can get super strong, but that takes a little bit of time and effort and all that okay but cardio yeah muscle endurance and cardio and of course some some basic strength you know uh, is super important cardio would be the first thing because if you guys ever watch zombie land right the rule number one of zombie land is is uh, uh, cardio that's number one why because you gotta run man you know if you can't run like for for you know run like run for like two minutes without huffing and puffing or going up a flight of stairs and that like man you're gonna yeah you're 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 sitting a, you're a sitting duck that's what i'm saying so cardio is super important all right so um that's why i you know like i i well i push i'm pushing that a lot in, in this video so you got to keep your cardio up man and now it's the time yeah you you got free time you can do that at home man like uh I'll, I'll show you guys in other videos how to do your cardio even if you can't be running but you know if you got stairs and uh if you know how to do a burpee or if you can't do a burpee but uh you know i'll show you different ways of doing it whatnot okay but cardio super important and of course muscles super important too but if you had to choose between the two you should work on your cardio in your core cardio okay all right guys hope you enjoyed the video leave your comments below uh let me know if there's anything else you want me to uh cover questions whatnot because i love getting those comments from you guys um it gives me ideas to what to talk about you know because uh or else i just end up talking about stuff that 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 you know that pop up in my mind and stuff that i'm i care more about but uh yeah all right okay guys that's it for today thank you peace